How's it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friend, it's the Aqua Commentator, and I want to welcome you to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, I know what, you were th I know what you're thinking. You didn't beat the first Five Nights at Freddy's. I know. I honestly merely wanted to showcase what Five Nights at Freddy's was. The one of the few Five Nights at Freddy's games that I actually want to beat all the way up to Night 6. I could try Night 7, but Night 7 is custom. And with the ultimate difficulty on that, on that custom night, I don't think I'll ever actually beat it. So I've given myself up to night six. If you beat night six, you're golden, you're good. So, the reason for Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it's actually one of my favorites in the series. It's really, it's a lot of fun. Alright, enough talking, Dage. Introduction's gone on long enough. It's time to hop into this. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Vintage Pizzeria, given new life. Come be a part of the new face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. What could go wrong? $100.50 a week. To apply, call 1555-FAZ-FAZBEAR. And, much like the first night in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I'm actually going to let the phone guy talk this time. That way you guys can get all the information about the new location and the new... Not new game, this game came out years ago, but how this game rolls, to be exact. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly, he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So, when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So, then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting to stuff you in the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light. 
and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, with all that explanation go gone, I'm gonna go over the controls. L button to throw up the camera, left stick to move through the cameras, A button to press the flashlight, you can press the flashlight on every camera. Uh, what you have to do throughout this game is not only do you have to keep an eye on the animatronics, but you have to make sure that you keep the music box and cam 11 wound up. Uh, to throw on the Freddy Fazbear head, simply press the R button, and then you press the A button to switch on the lights over here, and then flash the light down the hallway. That is a bright flashlight if I do say so myself. Now, the animatronics are practically the same. I've got Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica, but they're new and improved, and they're actually called Toy Bonnie, Toy Freddy, and Toy Chica. In Cam 08 over here, you see the old animatronics from the old location, all dismembered, all dismantled. Pretty much, they should be, um, they should be gone. Whoa. Hey, guess what? Bonnie is missing. Oh, that ain't good. He's probably over here. Hey, Bon Bon, how you doing? Good to see you again, buddy. Now, the reason this is one of my favorites is mainly because this is actually the first Five Nights at Freddy's games that I actually ever beat. I never beat Night 7, the true ultimate mode, but I did I did beat Night 6. And I got to the point to where I wasn't really scared at anything that, that was happening in this game. Granted, I do get startled here and there with all the jump scares, but honestly, this game isn't too bad. Hopefully, Bonnie here will start. Oh, hi, Bonnie. There he is, he's finally, he's up close and personal with the camera right there. Chica's still there, okay, Chica's still on her pedestal, or her pedestal. Still up there. So, make sure that the music box stays wound. Uh-oh, you hear that? That means something's going on. Toy Bonnie is about to go into the vent right there, which means he'll be right there. So, not only do you have to keep an eye on the animatronics, make sure that they don't get into your office, but you do have to make sure that you wind up the music box. If an animatronic does get close to you in your office, simply, well, for a certain animatronic, flash your light at him from down the hallway. Otherwise, you want to use the Freddy Fazbear masks to uh, pretty much screw up with their facial recognition, recognition, make it to where they think that you're um, an animatronic and not a human. And look at that. Bonnie is currently in the vent right now. How wonderful. I probably won't be scrolling through the cameras as often because I want to make sure that this music box stays wound up. Oh god, they're all gone. Freddy's right there. Bonnie right there. Hey, Bonnie, how you doing? Alright, that means that Bonnie is gone. I believe Chica's probably in Camp 7 right now. Yep, Bonnie's back there. Chica's right there. Oh, wow. Anyone down the hallway? Does not look like it. Night 1 is pretty easy, so don't expect too much of a challenge on Night 1. I mean, you can still die, but it's not really that difficult. It definitely starts racking up on night three. I mean, night two is a little difficult, but night three, night three is rough. Hell, I'm on um, I'm on night five on my uh, practice file, and I can barely get past night five. It's it's rough because we have a lot of animatronics that we got to keep track of in this game. Okay, where is Freddy? Oh, Freddy's still right there. All right, I guess it's, if he wants to stay there, that's fine, I guess. And uh, your flashlight can run out of battery, as you see in the top left corner right there. So if your flashlight runs out of battery, that one animatronic that you need to flash your flashlight on in order to prevent him from getting into your office will get in your office. You're still there. You're about to go in the vent. Freddy's still there. Otherwise, I'm not too terribly concerned about night one right now. Oh, someone's down the hallway, really. Anytime you see your... Oh, I guess I'll never know who was down the hallway. But my guess is it was probably Freddy. And since that night was pretty short, I'm actually going to hop right into night two. This is where stuff kind of gets real. Kind of, sort of. Whenever the loading screen is done. God, I've recorded so much that my freaking voice is um about to cave in. It. Once again, I'm gonna let him do his thing, and I'm gonna just look through the cameras. I'm gonna keep an eye on every uh, animatronic. Oh, hello. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. 
those are from the previous location. We just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold it in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh man, we've already got two animatronics, actually three animatronics on the move right now, don't we? We have none other than Balloon Boy on the move. We have Bonnie, and we also have Mangle, wherever Mangle has gone. And uh oh, hi there. Whenever, whenever you see Balloon Boy in your office, make sure you throw the Freddy, uh, the Freddy hat on. Because if Balloon Boy gets into your office, you will actually be unable to use your flashlight because he prevents you from using your flashlight. Anytime you see an animatronic down the hallway, simply flash your light a few times and they should, they should go away. Okay, there's Mangle. Bonnie's right there. Wait, is, no, he's not back. I'm not really too worried about Bonnie, to be perfectly honest. Hey, Chica, how you doing? The new and improved Toy Chica, I should, bet, should say. Freddy's still on stage. Okay, Toy Bonnie's not there yet. Yeah, nights one and night two aren't really that difficult. So this might be a pretty uninteresting video. Unless I die, which, you know, that could happen. Uh oh. Oh, he did. Wait. Where is Bonnie? Alright, I guess. Oh, he's right there. It actually did startle me a bit, not gonna lie. I was. Last he wasn't there last time, and then I check again, and suddenly he's friggin' there. I believe um, these guys are deactivated for now. They won't activate until night three. Hell, I think night three is actually strictly the older models. Oh, there's Mangle. Oh, who are you? Chica still, okay. I don't mind Chica, she's not really that intimidating. Whoa! And to make this a little more terrifying, I have my computer uh, volume all the way up, and I have my headphone volumes all the way up, because believe it or not, my headphones are actually affected by that. Uh-oh, Freddy's on the move. Whoa! Hi, Freddy! How you doing? I was not expecting to see you up close and personal right there, buddy. Okay, every time I throw the camera down, I'm gonna throw the hat mask on just in case. Because you never know when they're gonna get into your office. Freddy is still there. There! Just like that. I think you have a three second gap. I'm not sure how long it is, but I think you have a three second gap to throw that mask on, otherwise you are doomed. And that's pretty much what screws me over in night five, because every time they enter my office, I always react too late to put the mask on and I'm dead. Okay, it sounds like Balloon Boy is probably in the vents again. Oh, Mangle's in the vents, wow. Freddy's back on stage. Wow, I've never seen that before. Mangle is actually pretty easy to keep track of because Mangle has this radio, as you can hear right there. So it's pretty easy to tell whenever Mangle's nearby because you hear that little radio static or whatever that is. Simply throw the mask on and Mangle will leave. Pretty easy, actually. F Mangle is actually um, Toy Foxy, except the children apparently could not keep their hands off of uh, Foxy, 
and they kept dismantling him or dismembering him. That sounds pretty gruesome, but yeah. Um, so they just ended up calling it the mango and just letting kids just take it apart um, if they wanted to. Hi. Okay. Balloon boy is in the thing. Freddy's down the hallway, but that's A-OK. -okay. There will be moments throughout the videos where I just go quiet because I want to try to concentrate because you have a lot of buttons to focus on, especially with this game right here. A little more than the first one. Hi. Okay, Balloon Boy's gone. Freddy is up close and personal once again. That's a okay. I'm at 5 a.m., so I'm not too concerned. Hey, Freddy. Nope. This is pretty much my strategy. My strategy for out every night. And it's going to be my strategy until I beat this game. Freddy's still there. How you doing, buddy? Still there, okay. When are you gonna come inside, bro? You're giving me anxiety. There he is! That actually got me a little bit. Swear to God if it kills me. I mean, I put the mask on pretty quick, so I'm at 5 a.m. Shouldn't be much longer now. I didn't even hear the vents, wow. I didn't even know Toy Bonnie was in the vent. There we go. Nope, there will not be a night three this video. Thank you everybody for joining me here on the very first episode of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I really hope to see you all guys back here in the next episode. Hope each and every single one of you watching this video has a fantastic day. And I'll catch each and every single one of you later.